We just left St. George. We're heading off to California. So we got a California vacation. Well, not really, we're working down there. But in the car, we got Chris behind the camera right now. Brand manager extraordinaire, AKA Mr. Get It Done, the double Eagle Scout. And in the back, we got the Boy Wonder. We got my man, Rich. Um, we're gonna stop in Vegas. So we're two hours from Vegas, going down through Southern Utah, in through the corner of Nevada, and then into California. We're driving there. We're gonna stop at Royalty Exotic. My guys there are hooking me up. So I was like, hey, Royalty, uh, I love you guys. You guys got sweet cars. Maybe you guys let us take one. So we're gonna go pick out a car um, and take it to California. It's gonna be fun. But for right now, we got two hours to Vegas. Road trip! COVID style. What's up? Coming to you guys from right off the strip at Royalty Exotic. I love these guys. They're just, they've always treated me really well. Um, so we're gonna be leaving the truck in Vegas, transferring our stuff. And I think we're gonna jump into this thing right here. This thing's looking sexy, sexy as hell. Always wanted to see if I would like a range. I always like the way they look. I've never actually driven one. So we're gonna get in this bad boy right now. Some pretty cars. This is new, I haven't seen this yet. The purple. The purple Lambo. This is what I saw Houston in on his YouTube channel not too long ago. This era, right? Like this is a dope this car. This is a Countach, right? So this is the 1986 car. This it, reminds me of like Wolf of Wall Street. Is that? It's exactly that's the same the car. car. This is the car. From that's Wolf the Wall car. Street. Okay. So do you remember when you were here about a year ago and I had that old school Ferrari? Yes. That was like the coolest generation of Ferrari. Gotcha. That was the car I loved to drive. That car. It was pure. It was a real. That's when I was a Ferrari fanboy. Gotcha. And then when they came out 360, 430, 458, it just changed. It became too mechanical and just too kind of boring. Gotcha. You know. For Lambo, I've always been a Ferrari Gex because it's that classic. Like again, it's like for Lambo to me is scrant, like yelled like rapper, whereas Ferrari was like old Italian money. But it's good to hear from an actual car guy. It's it's different now because yep. the the game changed. Yep. Ferrari, it's they're all way beyond where they were 20 years ago. Today, Ferrari makes the fastest car right now, the yep. SF90. It's not really out yet. But when you have now, they have that new class hypercar. Yep. Like, no one's gonna talk crap about a LaFerrari. Right. Right, that's a killer right. car. And the hypercar for Lamborghini, which is a Centenario, is junk. So it's really weird, you know? So like, I just, I'll stick with the Bugattis. I've been really having a good time with those cars. That's a, that's an insane looking car. Yeah, It I just mean, looks so much heavier than the other ones. It, it is way heavier, heavy. but I've been 238 miles an hour in this car with one hand on the steering wheel. Oh it's, and I have my phone like this, it's so safe. So it's like the, the weight plays a factor in enjoying the car too, you know? Time to jump in the Rover and uh, head to LA. A quick stop in Vegas, but when you live two hours from Vegas, it's easy peasy. So, love these guys though. They always, they always hook it up. You know, Range Rover is it's, it's nice. You know, I come from a truck, so I'm used to the room. I would say the dashboard is a little bit cleaner, a little less messy than my truck. The the, the front windshield's nice. For an everyday driver, I can see this. We gotta figure out what Morgan's getting. We're gonna go with the Range. We're gonna go with a Tesla. We're gonna go with a Honda Civic. I don't know. We, we just gotta <laughs> test out some cars. The 90, figure it out. 94 Civic. Yeah. She might just get the 94 Civic. Thank you. So most Chick Fil A I've ever got. Thank you. Let's go. All right. We got Chick Fil A for days. Mass assembly line. All right, we got the Chick-fil-A. We're not gonna get in the car, we're gonna stop, we're gonna eat outside, because it's, it's dirty to eat in people's cars, so we're gonna skip that, and then we're gonna drive. We're gonna get to 
our spot by about midnight tonight. Great, okay. Road trip, let's go. We're already up. You good in the back, kids? Okay, let's do it. I know what you guys were thinking. We ended that last clip and you're like, yeah, there's no way they're not eating in that car. Oh, look, we parked the car. There's Chick-fil-A and we're eating in the parking lot, okay? Huh? I was in for eating for the, in the car. I know, we're gonna eat fast though. I know you got places to be. Mitch has a girl waiting for him. What's her name, bro? You wanna shout her out? Nosh. Ah, he would put you on blast. <laughs> he doesn't wanna shout out the girl. That's dirty. Whoever this girl is, I hope you see this. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched uh, my eating contest with Morgan, you should because I'm a fast eater. I just, I eat fast, so I'm, I'm 215. Chris is 6'6". Six, six. Buck 85. Buck 85. We don't, we're not sure where, we gotta, we gotta get him on the swole program. What are you, Mitch? 185 too. Mitch is a recovering hey. vegan. Hey, side by side, 185 too. Oh, you guys are both 185? <laughs> Can't even see my head. Oh, no. <laughs> I gotta go back there. So, yeah, yeah, both 185. <laughs> People yeah, just carry it different. <laughs> the arm length is crazy too. All right, I'm not driving. Chris, you're gonna drive? Yep. I'm gonna go uh, respond to some DMs. See who's sliding in. All of them are gonna be dudes, but hey, we're gonna say hello to them. I see dead people. Um, okay, <laughs> what do you guys listen to on road trips? I don't even need that. I'm just gonna go right here. What do you guys listen to on road trips? True crime? We got rap going right now. What do you usually listen to? Um, Chris is driving, by the way, not me. I usually do music and my wife does true crime. Music and your wife? I voted to do true crime, so. What's true crime? True crime, like you listen to a podcast about a dude that murders his wife because he has a girlfriend and he also huh? kills his two daughters. Huh? As we're driving in the desert where they drop the dead daughters. Nah, off. he put them in an oil tank. It was messed up. Oh, that that Netflix show. Yeah, man. Oh, okay, like, okay. But that's true crime. That's, okay. Like, so I, I'm, I'm all about it, so we're gonna try to listen to that. Morgan oh. got me hooked. Morgan legit thinks that no matter what, like somebody one day is going to try to kidnap her when she moves to America. So I'm thinking we'll probably get her like a concealed weapons permit. What do you guys think? <laughs> Love to get your comments on that. Morgan, half will be great, half will not be great. Morgan strapped with pretty scary actually. <laughs> no! No! She's a decent no. shot. All right, it is 10.15. California time, which means it's 11.15 Utah time, which is about my bedtime, but we still got some driving to do. We are in California. We are in Riverside. We gotta drop this dude off. But we just saw somebody with their electric <laughs> scooter, their bird, their whatever they brand that you are. Rent those scooter. Yeah, the rent-a-scooter on the freeway, on the side, on the shoulder. So uh, people be crazy in California. Good morning. Woke up last night. Woke up last night. Woke up this morning at about 7 a.m. Uh, had a good night, but I had to eat. Woke up, got, getting ready to go over to Callaway to get some golf balls. That's gonna be a whole separate vlog that is my golf journey up until now and like what's in my bag and just the royal treatment in Callaway. But getting breakfast this morning. We're here at this place called Toast. I don't know what I ordered. I did get a side of egg whites, but this is also what I got. I mean, one in SoCal. Chris got, oh my God. Look at that. Right. Breakfast of champions. I don't know how this is gonna sit, but hopefully it helps me hit the golf ball like Bryson DeChambeau. Finished up with breakfast, hopped in the range, and we're driving down. We're like, you know what? It's only 9.30. We don't have to be there till 12. Let's stop and hit some golf balls beforehand so Callaway doesn't think I'm this novice golfer, which I am. So we're looking up on the GPS, trying to find a driving range. The GPS led us to this one. We're about 20 minutes from Callaway. Nice part of uh, Southern California, but wow! I don't know if, I don't know if we're here to cook meth or to hit some balls, but we're gonna do it. I'm sure they see us pulling up in this car and they're like, what is going on? The whole point of it though is to uh, get some practice swings in before we go to Callaway so we don't make a fool out of ourselves. But this looks like something from, uh, this is a little sketchy. Mask on and uh, brought my pocket knife.
this story goes one of two ways. In the movie, a place like this, you either have a legend of a coach that lives here, has fallen on some hard times, and just needs that prodigy to come through and everything changes. He was this legend that just fell from grace and now he's angry and upset, but secretly he loves the game still and wants to give back. And there's a young kid that comes through, maybe a little, maybe just somebody who is low income and they just, they grow up and they just teach them here. Or it's a horror movie where everyone gets killed. One of the two. I don't know if my golf game has improved in the last half hour. My temperature has, it's getting hot as hell out here. So we're gonna go jump in the car, get something refreshing, maybe go look at the ocean because we haven't seen it yet and then head over to Callaway and hopefully the 30 minutes of practice I just did here pays off big time. Hopefully I went from like a zero to a hero in that last half hour because I'm about to get judged by the best of the best at Callaway. Come to California and not see these two. Yeah, everything. I need a glute workout. Though, and you do. Right, we yeah. got you okay. covered here. We'll get a night. I'm yeah. wearing. I'm wearing like I was golfing yesterday in some tight pants, <laughs> and I'm like, if you're gonna golf in tight pants, you gotta have the booty showing. <laughs> you gotta have the booty. Hey, the hammy was popping. Right, the, ha <laughs> like, the hamstrings up. I'm like, I need some more booty gains. All right, so we got we booty got into the upper you. body. All right, we're gonna warm up our glutes here. I'm gonna do a little bit of this with the bands. A little glute. A little bit of this. We're gonna go single leg. I've never warmed up my glutes so much in my life. He's already burnt out. <laughs> no, workout done. They were done. Workout done. Like, can you guys notice? Do you guys notice if you get a, like a booty pump that like, is it just so that it feels better, or do you notice? No, that, like, I notice. No, I notice. You do. Oh yeah. Woo! That's probably the like one muscle I've never noticed. Like, I've never been like, ooh, my booty's got a great pump right we're now. Changing that. <laughs> we're changing that. We're changing that. So we're supersetting hip thrusts. And what else we got? What should we do? With hyper extension. Okay. Both weighted. Fellas, don't be afraid to train your glutes. Largest muscle group in your body. So get out there. You know, they're going to look good in your golf pants when you go golfing. It carries over with everything. It does. Lower body strength. It just makes everything so much easier. And guys, it's okay if 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 you throw on a pair of jeans, you're going out and you get that booty pump. It's, girls, it's, it's all right. Yeah, girls love a good girls, booty. Girls, okay? it's all right. It's all in the booty. Like if, I, if a guy has a nice booty, I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, well, that looks good. <laughs> Come on. What the heck? I know, it's 
just something that simple. Holy cow, the blood flow. Like that. I'm smoke. We just finished up with the, sh the shoulders. I know people don't think, well, West Coast isn't as humid as like Florida, but it is so much more humid here than in Utah, especially in St. George in the desert. So I'm sweating up a storm. We went full buttery bros. Shirts are dumb. Well, not we, I went full buttery bros. Shirts are dumb. I think we should go jump oh. in the ocean. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. That's the plan. Should we run down or drive down? We can, we can, okay. Yeah, let's run. run. Oh wait, run? no, because then we have to walk back all wet. Well, someone can drive. We can drive. Right. We'll just hop in. Yeah. You want right. to run down? You can run down. So we want to run down? No, let's, let's, you want to run? Is it, wait, can you jump in there? Fairly easy? Okay. Yeah, it's 0.6 miles down to the water. Gotcha. Let's what run. Think? <laughs> let's drive. <laughs> let's drive. <laughs> I still landed a little squatty, but I did put my hand in Ocean time, let's go. Can't come all the way to Cali and not jump in the ocean. So we're gonna jump in right now. Not too bad. <laughs> Workout in the books. Little photo shoot this morning in the books. Shaping up to be a great day here in California A. So we jumped in the ocean. We're gonna have to find some awesome food right now. Little, little post-workout meal. Post-swim, post-workout meal. We got some fish tacos here. We got salmon, we got cod, we got shrimp. 